Making selections. Filtering. In this video, we will demonstrate the different ways you can select to view data of interest to you. For example, you may wish to see data for a particular specialty area, a trust, a region, or even a specific financial year. The Portfolio ODP dashboard allows you to pick and choose the data you want to see and the level of detail you want to see it in. Log in to ODP at https colon forward slash forward slash ODP dot NIHR dot AC dot UK and select the All Portfolio dashboard. You can select to view data in three different ways. By clicking on a specific category in the filter or list, by clicking on a cell of a table, or by clicking a bar in a chart. We're going to start by selecting the Filters tab. When you make a selection, your selections are visible in the current selection box located in the top left hand corner of the screen. Whatever you pick also turns green. For example, if you chose Yorkshire and Humber from the participating LCRM list, you will see Yorkshire and Humber turns green and also appears in the current selections box at the top left of your screen. You can add as many selections as you like from the different menus or filters. For example, you may be interested in the number of studies recruiting within the cancer specialty in the financial year 2022 to 2023 in England. So you will select Cancer from the specialty list, FY2223 from the research activity financial year list, and England from the recruiting country. You will now see all the selections you've made in the current selections box. Any categories greyed out in any of the lists denotes what you've excluded based on the selections you've made. So for example, you will see, as you've chosen cancer, all the other specialties are greyed out. Once you've made your selections and start looking at the charts in the different tabs, you may wish to drill down further. For example, when you look at the summary tab, you may be interested in focusing on looking at recruitment to just open studies. An easy way to do this is to click on the open bar of the study status chart. You will see that the chart changes to focus on just open studies. The study status list also appears in the current selections box. You may then want to take a look at the actual list of open studies. To do this, go to the data tables tab where you can see a list of the open studies. If you're interested in a particular study in the list, you can click on the study in the list and again you will see your selection appears in the current selections box. In this way you can build up or break down the data that you are interested in without having to go back to the filters page. You may also wish to see data and charts in relation to the categories that have been greyed out or excluded. There is an easy way to do this by right clicking on the field within the current selections box which contains the categories you wish to see data for and choosing select excluded from the list. You will see greyed out categories now highlighted. This function is useful if you have many categories. If you want to choose more than one category in a list, you can do this by holding the control key as you click on each new selection, either in the menu box or by clicking the arrow next to the field in the current selections box. Once you've made your selections, you can lock them. Locking selections is useful if you want to come back to view the same data once you've logged out, or if you are worried about accidentally clicking on another selection. To lock your selections, click on the padlock icon in the toolbar. Once you've locked your selections, the green selections turn blue. For example, in this case, Research Activity Financial Year 2223 and our selected study attributes have turned from green to blue. To learn how to modify your selections, please visit our Modifying Selection video. The link to this can be found in the description box below. For more information about ODP, please get in touch with the Business Intelligence team by emailing odp.nihr.ac.uk.